Whoa. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Liam Like Potatoes here. It's been a while. Uh, it tell also a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide, and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. Uh, uh what? <laughs> what? What? They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into a deep despair. <laughs> it's just got. I just booted up the game. They burnt forth to ash, choked the wind, sweet, sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. <laughs> I just. I just started the game. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. Cool. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by the gods of old, the power gave its holder the means to take to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming in the lands, swarming the lands. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. What am I reading? With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. Hold up. But there are other legends, all hid away from memory, are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Alright, got my motion controls ready. Skyward Sword HD! Let's go! Oh, gotta put these straps on. <laughs> That's. Uh, regular, original flashbacks. That's right, I have played this game before. I did play the original, and actually, because I, once I heard that this was coming out, I actually played the original a little bit, and holy crap, nostalgia really does blind you, doesn't it? And, but let's hope that, okay, oh my gosh. Point the Joy-Con at this rate group. Oh my gosh. This is so, this is so clean. This is clean. Listen to that music. Oh, that is, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's, it's been a while. Enter your character's name. Uh. Sure, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it nice and, nope. Liam. 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 Nice. That is to be my name. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. Cutscene. Oh wait, I'm sorry, there's spoilers for you guys. I'll just uh, cut that out. I don't know that guy's name. Whoa, 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 who is that? Dude, who's that? That's crazy. Nintendo presents. 
Whoa. Hey, did they change the opening cutscene? They changed the opening cutscene! There's none of the Nintendo Presents in the original. I don't want your Nintendo Presents. Okay, okay, water can wait. Okay, the graphics. Oh my god, is that. It's, oh, this is beautiful! Oh, it's beautiful! <gasps> it's blinding! Like, seriously, my eyes. Very bright. Oh my gosh! <gasps> it's so beautiful! Look at it! You can sort of not see the polygons. That right there is a loft wing, by the way. Oh, I wonder who that is. I totally wonder who that is. Yeah, we all know that's Zelda, right? You, you figured it out, right? You can, you can, you can... <gasps> I bet you can guess who that is. <laughs> Ooh, that, what is, why, who turned that light purple? Why is that light purple? Rise, rise, leave. <laughs> oh yeah, I've already forgotten <laughs> my name. Hey guys, it's me, Leonk. <laughs> the time is, Leonk. <laughs> I think time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Leong. <laughs> Beautiful. Shut up, purple thing. <laughs> I'm perfect. That part right there is perfect. Oh my god, these graphics! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Quick, go grab those feathers! They, they, you need those for upgrades. Hey, Sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Leon, Leon. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> oh. I can turn the camera. I can turn the camera. Guess what I can do? I can turn the camera. I can turn the camera. You have no, you, do you have any idea how big of a deal this is? And, just so you know, you found a blue ruby. <gasps> the ruby symbol has changed. The <gasps> Everything is different. Oh, can I sleep? Sleep? <laughs> okay. Now we use the B button to move around. What does X do? Tilt R to move the key. Oh, now it gives you a little tutorial. Like a better tutorial. That one that actually tells you what to do. Hey. Looking great as ever. Yeah. Pippet. So today's the wing ceremony. You ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Yeah, I am pretty relaxed, ain't I? Just, how do I... 
How do I tighten this thing myself? Onto myself. My hands can't reach that like that. <clears throat> duh, duh. Uh, okay. Of course, that Crimson Laughling of yours is something special. I pre I feel pretty confident riding him too. Yep. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find some, yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Piffet. Nope. And you can do the roll. And of course, I would feel bad if I didn't talk to my old friend, Fledge. Good morning, Leonk. Today's the big wing ceremony. Oni, I wanted to fly too, but I didn't make the cut, so I'm back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow him, buddy. It's this one. Ah, uh, Leonk, you're here to help me? You've always been so kind. I'm happy to take you up on the offer. I need you to carry one of these barrels over to the old lady who works in the kitchen. Press A to pick up. Oh. Uh, yep. Well, that was a waste of time. And here it is. Skyloft. The tutorial is pretty long, so we're gonna have to have like an entire episode on this. First things first. Bird statue. Oh, you can select which one? Oh! Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect! Hey! Hey, Leonk! Up here! Hello! Professor Hello. Orwell, good morning to you! Oh boy. Target me, we have a quick chat. Excellent! Always remember, you can talk and even when there is a thing, anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a cover. Since you're from this distance, why don't you join me up here? Okay, why did I talk so fast? You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Don't think I don't know what I'm doing. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning? Leon? Oh, you have someone to beat? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gifora, has a pet named Mia and she scampered off again. Look! I mean, look! Over there, do you see her? How did she get up there? I've always wanted to know that how. The headmaster's so busy working with Zelda, preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony's about to start, and I just want off fresh set of clothes, and, well, you see, we got me out to go retrieve me for uh, Okay. Ooh. I feel bad. If I did. Fantastic, so you do it. I'm, I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. Yay. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. 
If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. This part is full of so many cutscenes. <laughs> oh, youth guided by the servant of the goddess. You night. Okay, I'm done. Hey, good morning, Leonk. I'm glad to see my Lawfling got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing in the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It's, it sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, but we get to use it in this today's ceremony. Oh, well, hey, you can skip stuff. No. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got up you off early this morning because I want you to be the first to see me like this, Leonk. So how do I look? <laughs> nice costume. Uh, <laughs> uh, which one do I do? I'm not. I'm not mean. I'm not the kind of guy who does that. Uh, I think so too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Leonk. Ah, uh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Leonk, you're here too. Outstanding. <laughs> it's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. No. I was woken up by a giant bird. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the, in the post-ace ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. And then Zelda's gonna be really rude. Father, I don't know if we can do it. <laughs> Look at oh, poor Link. Or I mean, Leonk. Recently, Leonk hasn't been practi practicing much at all for a ceremony. And even when he's out riding his lawfling, he's just lazily gr gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda, but you may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to the bird. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. Thanks. But you noticed since you were both very little, you should know better than to fret about him. You see, uh, special connection... When, our, when we are young, every one of us meets our lawfully under the great statue of the goddess. Quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and start daydreaming again. What? 
Wait, did, did the screen just get randomly dark? Am I the only one who saw that? Ah, uh, but who could blame you? I'm sure you are the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Leonk and his bird. Anyone who's a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <sighs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those trained to become Knights of Skyloft. If Leon doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Leon messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Okay. Ooh, Calm down, my dear. We'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you've become a completely different person. Talky, 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 talk. Talky, 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 talk. Talk, 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 talk. Listen, Leon, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little training before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. He's not going to thank her later. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your love way. It's almost time for the ceremony. So try to break seri practice seriously for once. Go on. Jump off. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't sense your bird out there. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go. <laughs> Guess what happened? Mm hmm. Hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <gasps> Something's wrong! Oh my gosh, who saw that one coming? Hang in there, Leon. I've caught you. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing to... Not talking about me? You just pushed me off a cliff. This is very odd. What could have possibly happened to your loft? Like, I'm okay, thanks for asking. I mean, I'm fine, and you still can't set your bird nearby, eh, Le Leong? This is quite a problem, especially in the considering the wind ceremony is about to start. Leong, well, you say you could sense your law flag. Well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. You nearly killed me. I need to tend to my own law flag, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Why, how'd it get to be so late? If I call, recall correct, correctly, this year, Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. You should go explain the situation and see if he's willing to delay, race a little so you can find your bird. <laughs> but Father, you're the headmaster. If Leon gas Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. <laughs> ah, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Leon, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Okay, 
You know, Groose, that sure was a pain with all the scratching and the pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> Whoa, we honk, so uh, yeah, just how long you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please! You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda upon the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> okay, well sorry pal, Groose doesn't do charity for whips. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Ooh. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where's that scrubby pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. <laughs> you think his tiny brain got, got confused by the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. <laughs> you lay off my do right now or I'll flag you. Everyone knows I've got the sleekest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Don't feel like you are dragging our honor to catch me through the mud. <laughs> and just who might you be talking about, Groose? Wait, was that, was that the no? Was that the legend? Was that the Breath of the Wild cooking noise? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> no, nah, it's uh. Hold up. Hold up. What? What am I doing? Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Leonk again, aren't ya? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Uh, I suppose you heard. <laughs> Uh, what are you thinking about? <clears throat> Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Leonk. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out at today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird, or get real used to the taste of flavor. It's your special flavor. Dude, why you gotta be such a... Run out of water. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loft Wing's disappearance. Leonk, those guys are not gonna help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. It's just it's just normal for pe people to fall into the sky around here. Eh. Yeah. Leon, perfect timing. I heard your lost league's gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Pledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Mm. I'm so sorry. 
I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you, it sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. <sighs> Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure, they'd make sure that I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and mate and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here. Okay. Forgive me. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the knight commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Hey, it's Leonk! So you still want to get some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword's in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here, here for a while. So if there's anything you don't understand about handling sword, go ahead and ask. You gotta practice, Zor! Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to look at the items you're carrying. There we go. That's right, Leonk. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. You ready to try a spinning tack? Yep. Great, I'm gonna surround you with logs. Use a spinning tack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Good one! That sure looked like it felt good. Say, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Sure. Alright, when your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw your... Self at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to, re to use right after you use your shield or a well placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. How do these things all come back? Hey, Leonk! You can't take swords outside the sparring hall! What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loftling is missing? You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception, exception just this once. But remember that, that Skyloft is a peaceful place and only knights carry swords. I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. And once you get outside for, with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Apparently you can just sort of sense. Apparently Link has some sort of like... Super sense with this bird waterfall cave. Ooh, it's all echoey.
You got a monster claw! Yep. Uh, I'm about to be attacked. Top 10 moments taken before disaster. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, not, not this again. I never thought I'd have to deal with that again. The constant that. Why does it look all staticky? I don't like that. I don't like that. Nope. Yep. I'm pretty, I think I missed something. No? Did I not? Come at me. Come on. You think I'm scared? You think? Not scared. I don't I don't fear no keys. I don't fear any choo choos. <laughs> Why are there just red rupees all over this cave? they dropping these items how to get over there <laughs> Leong Hey, Leonk, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Yeah, it's, he's right over here. Huh? Who, who's that? Who's calling for me? Uh, oh, sorry, Leonk. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Yeah. Look, there he is! No doubt about it, that's your Loftwing, Link. Yeah, the only Crimson Loftwing in the entire world, and he ha- And these are perfectly geometrical lines, so yeah, should be pretty easy. Stop making that noise. We should hurry, Leong. Now that your Loftwing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty barren place or even that's nothing below but I just have this feeling that they're wrong 
Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our lava wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Leon. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for, for, waiting for you. Just leap off the edge. I just seem so sure. Jump into the abyss. Let's go! Yeah, I don't know why it gives you all this stuff to read. It's right there. Ah, charge to slow. Charge. Well, that's a huge relief. Yep. <laughs> Your love wing is amazing. Huh? Oh, come on. No. Well, well, if it isn't Leonk. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay for you. I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I mean, can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't ya? Well, don't ya? Cruz has been going on forever about he's gotta be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, there was no way I'm gonna let some scrawny clown catch that, pr snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda sailcloth will be mine. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, gonna skip that. Does. Gross. Gross. Behind you. Right behind you. Oh. What? Can't you do? See, I'm in the middle of. Oh no. <laughs> ah! Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> I, uh, nothing big really, just, uh, just, uh, Leonk, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here about how glad he was he found that big red her. Boy, I'm, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, uh, later, Zelda, look for me in the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Yeah! Hey, Cruz, wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race. Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Leonk. Just get out there, fly the best that you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and... And deep down, I thank you, too. Yeah! 
That's the spirit, Leong. Leong, trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Leong. Hold up, gonna get some water. Hydration is important. Stay hydration. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry we'd have to proceed without Leong, but l luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. But before we start, I would like to explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the edge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with a down on the d-pad once you dive off the edge whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion those are the rules simple enough i should think uh very well but listen close this time wait no 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 i pressed the wrong button oh the 25th anniversary no it's not the lovely Zelda. Yep. <laughs> that goes double for you, Groose. Whatever he said, hey. double. Hey. Go! <laughs> How'd they get ahead of me? Okay, time for the focusing. <laughs> hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? You jerk. Yeah, you are. Let's see how you fly with the egg on your face. What? Really? I'm being bombarded with eggs? gonna let a bunch of eggs stop me oh that was fast you got the, you got the bird statuette it proves your victory today wait till Zelda sees this oh hi Bo oh you're so Bo. Bo. oh wait I have something to do As I was <clears throat> Leon No 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 Okay We're good No committing suicide No suicide here Don't worry I'm fine Great flying congratulations Now we better get on with the ceremony Okay, that, there, that was a- Wait, what? Wait, huh? <laughs> that was perfect! You're amazing, Leonka! Wait, what? Uh... I'm confused! All I did was press minus. I didn't think I'd skip. Oh. Frick. What the? And with the weather being so nice, uh, what? You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Oh. What the heck? Don't make this cring. I'll skip again. I mean it. I just have no idea. Leonk! Hey! Leonk! Well, 
what? Today it was amazing watching you win the race and perform the ritual together, which I didn't get to see because I'm an idiot. I'll always remember this. I won't. I didn't get to see it. It really was wonderful. <sighs> you know... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What the... What is... What is that?